Hi children, welcome to church. We are glad that you are here today. The book of Proverbs is a collection of wise sayings by King Solomon that are a guide to us to help us walk right before God. Some of you may think that you are still little and are not wise like King Solomon. The Bible says in James chapter 1 verse 5, if any of you lack wisdom, let him or her ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given you. Do you have your Bible with you? Let's pray. Father God, we thank you that we are able to come to worship you today. Please help us to listen and learn from your wise words that give life. Please give us wisdom to help us walk with you and not away from you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good morning, children. It's Joan here today. Are you excited to learn more from the book of Proverbs? Let's begin with a word of prayer and worship. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have given us so much wisdom to learn from the book of Proverbs. Give us a mind to understand, a heart to receive, and wisdom to accept your teaching. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let's begin with a story from the Bible. You might have heard the story before. 
It's from the book of Acts of the Apostles in the New Testament. There was once a couple named Ananias and Sapphira. It happened in the beginning of the early church. The people who believed in Jesus were selling their lands and were bringing it as an offering to the Lord. Ananias and Sapphira also sold a piece of land that they owned. Now, after selling off their land, they brought some of the money to the apostles, but they kept some of the money for themselves. God the Holy Spirit revealed to the apostle Peter that they had kept back a portion of the money at home and were only pretending to give everything to the church. When Ananias was asked about it, he didn't tell the truth. Then Peter said, you have not lied to men, but to God, for Satan has filled your heart to lie. Hearing this, Ananias fell down dead. After some time, Sapphira came to see the apostle, not knowing what had happened to her husband. She too lied about the money and she also fell down dead. This might seem like a small matter to us, but God took it very seriously. God is interested in the words that we speak and he always wants us to be truthful. So today's lesson is about honesty. Let's look at our memory verse for today from Proverbs chapter 12, verse 22. Hello, my name is Timmy. Our memory verse for today is, Lying lips are abomination to the Lord, but those who act faithfully are His delight. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 22. Let's read it again. Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord, but those who act faithfully are His delight. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 22. The word detest means to hate. The Lord hates lying. Look at the second half of the verse. The Lord delights in those who are trustworthy. To delight means to love. God delights in children who are honest with their words and with their actions. Let's look at four questions to understand today's lesson. What makes us lie? Where do lies come from? What happens when we lie? And how can I have a clean heart and stop lying? Question number one, what makes us lie? Your parents might have told you to be honest and to always tell the truth. Have you ever wondered why we tell lies? We tell lies because sometimes it seems like it's the easiest thing to do in a situation. For example, instead of working on your assignments or your homework, you decide to play some games on your computer. And when your parent comes in and asks, were you really studying? You lie and you say, yes, I was, when you weren't really. Your lie was an effort to make yourself look good and to escape punishment. But when you lie, you forget that God knows the truth, even if your parents don't. To be truthful means to always speak the truth and to be honest. Little children, God wants us to be like him, to always be honest and always be truthful. Question number two, where do lies come from? Lies come from our sinful heart. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse nine says that our heart is most deceitful and wicked. In the story that we just heard, Satan had filled the hearts of Ananias and his wife Sapphira to lie. Jesus said in John chapter 8, verse 44, that Satan does not hold any truth and there is no truth in him. Satan is a liar and he is the father of lies. We all have a sinful heart and on top of that, we are influenced by Satan to lie. Little children, we need to have a clean heart and only Jesus can give us a clean heart. Question number three. What happens when we lie? Did you know that lying can become a habit? When we lie and we don't get caught, we usually become a little bolder to lie again. 
If we keep doing this, lying becomes a habit and an easy way of an escape. What do we call a person who lies? That's right, a liar. Do you know what the Bible says happens to liars? In the last book of the Bible, the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 15, it says that those who love and practice a lie will be condemned to hell. Instead of making a habit of lying, you can always speak the truth. Let's look at this experiment by Professor Mad Explosion together. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the IDMC lab. I am Professor Mad Explosion. Today, we are off for another science experiment. Are you ready? Well, I am. We are going to start off with some ice cream. Who likes ice cream? Put up your hand. Ha! Well, ice cream for ice cream. I love ice cream. We're going to start with that. Ice cream is good. This ice cream represents honesty. So let's just have some ice cream. You're going to watch me have some ice cream? Yes? <laughs> okay, I'm going to taste some ice cream right now. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Okay, let's carry on. The next part, <clears throat> excuse me, is the salt. Now salt is bad. If we eat too much salt, it's not good for our health, is it? No, 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 it's not. Well, salt represents dishonesty or lies, and it's bad. So what we're going to do is have some ice cream and put some salt. Let's try that. More ice cream? Mm, very good indeed, very good. Uh. Some ice cream and lots of salt. See how we go. Ooh, lots of salt. Delicious. Let's try. Mmm. 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 Oh. Oh. Yeah. Mm. That was a <clears throat> bad. Well, it doesn't make sense. You see, we've got some good stuff, but then we cover it up with lies and dishonesty and bad stuff. It just it doesn't blend. Can you see the salt? Can you? You can't. You can't see it, but you can, you can taste it. All right, well, let's move on to the next part. We've got hundreds and thousands, yes. Some good old icing. What we're going to do is cover up the badness, the salt with icing. La, la, la. Lots of ice cream, yes. And lots of icing too. Can you see it? Yes, it's sugar coating. Mm. Now let me try this ice cream with salt and icing. Mm. 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 I think that was a <clears throat> too much. That was pretty bad. I know, I love ice cream. Mm. I love icing too. But the salt just ugh, makes it bad. So it doesn't blend. You see, we might sugarcoat things, you know, put nice things on top of our lies and try to shake it off. But the lies are still there. You can't hide from the lies. Do you know what? Last week, I exploded my microwave. It, it just exploded because of this experiment. You see, I hardened up my salt. Yes, it's very hard, it's, it's stuck. Can you see it? Well, and now, it's just hardened up. It's lies after lies after lies, and it's just so hardened up with, you know, all the salt but what we can do is go to Jesus because he cleans and he cleanses us doesn't he I am now going to put this salt the hardness of heart into the water ah it's gone look 
the salt gone and it's now clean. That's amazing. That's who Jesus is. He cleanses us. Last question. Question number four. How can I have a clean heart and stop lying? Well, as we saw in the video, it is only the blood of Jesus that can cleanse our sinful hearts. The Bible says in Romans chapter 6, verse 23, that the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. God does not want us to end up in hell. Therefore, he has made a way for us. When we believe in Jesus and confess our sins and repent, he is faithful to forgive us and cleanse us. He gives us the best gift, the Holy Spirit, who is able to help us to speak the truth always. Children, I hope you take some time to reflect on today's lesson. Before we go, let's pray. Almighty God, your grace and your mercy is amazing. Thank you for sending your son Jesus for dying on the cross for our sins. Thank you for giving us your Holy Spirit who gives us help to live holy every day. I once again surrender my tongue to you. Help me to speak the truth. In Jesus' name, Amen. That's all the time we have for today. Hope you have enjoyed the lesson. We'll see you next time. Bye.